Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Mastering the Game with your boy B. Ellis. Y'all know what time it is, man. Um, this is the season finale to Mastering the Game. You guys are going to see our playoff run and what went down with our playoff run, man. Just super proud of these guys. Super proud of these guys and all the work that they've put in. Um, it's going to be the last episode of season one. Crazy. Last episode of season one. 35 episodes from March to March. Let's just get right into it, man. Season finale of Mastering the Game. Want to go home? It's that simple. This time it's about who wants it more. Who is more focused on the task at hand? I can promise you, we are. There's nothing more visible to the human eye than someone that moves with a sense of urgency that needs to be RMO these playoffs. Urgency. We've checked off a lot of our boxes this year, but the biggest one is still looming. The only way to it is to win. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Mastering the Game. The Brodies have worked all year for this moment, and now it's finally here. A chance to make history. Something that is completely within our grasp. Let's see if the Brodies can take on the challenge. Let's get to work. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, K. They might send them hitters at him. Send them hitters at him, K. Do him something dirty, K. Get him, K. Send them hitters at him, K. Yeah. Oh, yeah, K. Oh, you're not going down, K. You go pick him up. Oh, yeah, K. Oh, yeah. Come on, K. Get out of it, K. Get out of it, K. Oh, yeah, K. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Put him in the garbage, okay? Put him in the trash! Put him in the trash, okay? What's up, turn around? You got the big black puffer jacket. Are you from New York, even? Do you have a big black puffer jacket, even? I'm about to take this dub today. Yes, sir. No, I ain't about to be in it, bitch. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey, y'all niggas, y'all niggas sitting together, bro. Yeah. Bro, we go and eat, bro. Try to sit together for the guy two spots. Eat what? Oh, no, my brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> Big piece of controllers. Oh, no. I'm talking, Mom. We ate that shit yesterday. For the, we stole that shit. Mom, all that shit I got home. I cannot eat these today. I'm going to throw it. <laughs> Why you looking like you want smoke with a Take my car and call. Hey, you think, you think, you think, you think we can get free food? From Why you got the camera so close? Look. <laughs> you think we can get? <laughs> <laughs> we got a hotel for the player and like get these balls off their feet, you hear me? I ain't even gonna get into that. Get, get them balls off their feet and get them right you know? Behind the scenes. Oh, it's nice up in here. Oh, you stink. Boy, yeah, I stink, boy. Boy, 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 what? Boy, you look like a fucking dog. You like you ass stink. Boy. Grab his face, Trey. Boy, you like, uh... Boy! Boy, you look like a curious yard that man. <laughs> <laughs> you got two super on your chest. I'm talking about him. Oh, you want to show this? Oh, I know you're not joking. <laughs> hey, put it on. Come on, nigga. Yeah, so let me tell you how to tell you what you're saying. I know where all y'all live. The same car y'all talking about, I got something right here. I'm running that bitch straight clean in your house. I'm running that bitch straight clean in your house. John, what you fucking up here? Let me see you. Let me see you. Syracuse Tyler, 
Hey, if we go Syracuse for Tyler, alright? And now we're starting to round up. We're going to Syracuse for Tyler. We're trying to go on the same side. And Paul, the junior, the number right. three. So, Cameron Brown. Trey, Johnny. Right, so that'd be rad. And Paul, the junior, number one. I want y'all to James Washington. y'all so for the first round of the playoffs we had Plaquemine and uh, the last time we played Plaquemine in the playoffs was my senior year and we lost to him so just for myself this was personal for me and you know the guys came out in the first half and they were very focused we had a great great start um, I think it was 10 to 2 um, to start the game so our guys were locked in for the first round of the playoffs but towards the end of the half Plaquemine made their run right but the first half, I really believe that defensively, we were pretty good. Um, some shots weren't falling, uh, but Johnny was controlling the glass, playing at a really high level. Tyler hit a big three in the first half. Rax was playing really, really well in the first half, getting to the rim, getting to his spots. You know, he couldn't put the ball on the floor, you know, a few months ago. And now, you know, he's getting to the rim, Euro steps, hop steps, you know. He's really, really progressed as a basketball player. And I feel like in that first half, it was the others for us that really made a big impact in what we did to contribute to a lead going into halftime, man. Um, but like I said, defensively is where we hang our hat. And in that first half, in the first round, you know, defensively is where we were beginning to separate ourselves against Plaquemine. Um, but they didn't give up, you know, they kept fighting. Plaquemine kept fighting, man. They made it a ball game. And um, the first half was really, really fun to watch. Really, really fun to coach.
These two come in. Have a lovely day. Huge. They come in, get buckets, get rebounds, get stops. We go from tie game, we are up nine early in the third to a tie game to back up five. And, you know, Tyler hits a big three. When they go, like, things happen. You're not, like, big. Everybody's got to take care of the ball next game. All right, it's going to be a totally different game. The pace is going to be totally different. But I'm going to be fresh. I'm going to be locked in. I want to go play whatever we play in the second round. You give it up, you go back to the quarters. All right? Yes, sir. So think about that, folks. Just think about that. Oh, they, and they got food for y'all in the waiting room. Yeah! 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 Um, we had a halftime leader, I believe, of six or seven, and Plaquemine came out in the third quarter and punched us in the mouth. I mean, they took the lead by a point, and we was like, yo, whoa, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Then Tyler comes right back down, he hits a big three off a of ball screen, and after that, I think, you know, we kind of begin to separate ourselves again after Tyler made that three. Um, but that slow start in the third quarter, y'all, listen, it could have went either way. Without that Tyler big three, I don't know, y'all, you know. And then after that, you know, Zion started to get going. Johnny was really big on the glass. Trey was really big on the glass. You know, and after that, man, it was smooth sailing. Um, I think we ended up winning by double digits. You know, but defensively, like I, I'm going to keep telling y'all, defensively is what we hung our hat against Plaquem. And, man, we got big stops when we needed to. And it led to runouts. It led to transition buckets. You know, every hit a big three. I mean, not a big three, a big pull-up on the right side, mid-range shot to kind of get us going in that third quarter. Um, then Rax hit a big, big um, layup, body to body, flexed. You know, and I think I think plays like that, you realize how far you've come as a basketball player, right? Being able to get to spots to where before you couldn't get to. You know, and, and I think the growth and development of our team throughout the summer, throughout the spring of last year, and you know, throughout this season is a big testament to the amount of work that these guys put in, you know, and in that second half against Plaquemine, we separated ourselves again. And we ended up winning that ball game by six points. But I mean, we were up double digits. Plaquemine hit some buckets down, down the stretch, you know, some meaningless buckets. But, you know, it was a big win for us, um, especially in the first round, man. Three, four. Man, yeah, round two. How y'all say that? Round two. Round two. Round two. Because that's not because it ain't a body. It ain't a body. Round two, maybe that bullshit. I don't like these people. We'll keep it cool. Can I do the AK-47 for the camera, please? No, look at it. <laughs> 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 Come on, Tyler. 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 The time is now, boy. The time is now. All right, we got one hour. We're going in that locker room, get off our feet. I'll start taping it about 6, 15, 6, 20. All right? Uh, make sure by, after you get taped, we should start refreshing at 6, 20, Jim. All right, hey. We don't need no foolishness in there. We need to be chilled out, relaxed, focus on what we got to do. All right, let's make this place our place tonight. Let's go. Sure. Miami, Brown, three. One, two, three. Oh, bro. Oh, man. Boy, he stretched. Boy, he, boy, he, he, boy, he, 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 he,
massaging these boys to get them loose for the game. Coach Jason, Coach B, and Coach Ellis. Everybody from Spawn is there. And they're not even grateful. What? I'm Josie, y'all be great. We love y'all. We love y'all. We love y'all. Alright, alright. Then you going so hard, you know? In our first possession, we start out an eagle on defense. Alright? If 11 has the ball here, Rex, if he's already engaged enough, just show a little bit. Cut the middle, drop, stay to that block, Z. Don't, don't run out to them corners unless it's a for sure thing. Make them work in the half court. Be listening for eagle and five. When we go five, alright, with that first group, you two is on Titus and uh, Devonja. Whoever's closest to whoever. Control the game, control your emotions. You'll be full of energy the first three minutes. Use that, but don't spend all your energy in the first three minutes. It's a 32 minute game, all right? There's gonna be a lot of punches thrown tonight, and I don't mean physical punches, I mean between runs, between teams, all right? Make the, make the most run, all right? Weather the storm when they make a run, and they come right back at them. Second round of the playoffs, we played Boshan. And let me tell you something, bro. That was the most anticipated game of the year. Um, people showed up, people pulled up, and it was Fat Tuesday. It was Mardi Gras Tuesday, and people still showed up. And I was like, wow. You know, and the anticipation of that game just from the area was just insane. And it showed. And in the first half, man, I really thought we was gonna be good. Rash got the first bucket of the game. And normally when Ras gets the first bucket of the game, we good. Ras is full of energy. He's ready to go after he gets his bucket. And Bo Shan came out ready to play off. Knocking down shots. And one buckets. And one mids. And one threes. And they came out ready to play basketball. And, you know, we had some turnovers in that first half. We had some, some bad shots in that first half. And we found ourselves being down double digits. And that first half was definitely not our best basketball. You know, and honestly, I don't know if it was the moment. I don't know if we, if we were ill-prepared, but that first half is not us. That first half is not us, man. And we waited too late to start playing. And y'all gonna see that, you know, in the second half. You know, in that first half, you know, we were not ready for that moment. And, and as a result, we had to dig ourselves out of a hole. You know, but credit to Boshan, man. They came out and played ball at a high level in that first half. Role players making shots, um, star players making shots. They were ready. They were ready to play basketball in that first half.
You know, y'all, in the second half of that ball game, I really think the guys showed a, a one hell of amount of resiliency. You know, with Zion being in foul trouble, man, he just couldn't get a rhythm. He just couldn't get a rhythm, man. He was in foul trouble from quarter one. Throughout the entire game, Zion was in foul trouble. And I think the way the guys picked him up, you know, in that second half, being down double digits, being down 19, I believe, going into the third quarter, we showed up and we did not show any ounce of quit, man. Any ounce of quit. We showed that we were we were resilient, that we can we can fight back, we will fight back, and we're not quitting, bro. And we made a one hell of a run. We cut that lead down to seven with four minutes to go, man. My tarot played his behind off. Tyler got going in the second half. He was a total flip of how he was in the first half. Everett was was a pest defensively. Don Traven came in, made, got some big steals, played hard defensively, man, got to the rim. Johnny was doing his thing, man. And, and you know, it's just one of those things where we digged ourselves such a deep hole that one play, you know, could determine the game, man. We cut that lead down to seven, and then Titus comes down. You know, and he gets an and one, and it's right back to 10 with about three three minutes to go. And that's your ball game, man. It's hard, very hard to play so hard being down double digits, and then one thing goes wrong. And then all of a sudden, you know, your momentum goes away. And that's what happened, man. Our guys fought to the very, very end, man. And I'm so proud of those guys, man. I'm so proud of those six seniors, man. I'm so proud of those underclassmen as well, man. Those guys had one hell of a year. One hell of a year, if you ask me, man. They fought through a whole bunch of adversity. Whole Johnny fought through a whole bunch of adversity. I mean, every Karen Crow game. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Zion, just in the Plaquemine game. Tyler rolling his ankle. Playing. Like, they fought through so much adversity. And, you know, to, to go out like warriors is something that I'm extremely proud of. You know, although we lost the game, I think we gained a lot more going forward. And that is something that I feel like those six seniors have established. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this season of Mastering the Game, man. Yeah, I, I, said, I said season, not episode. 35 episodes, one season from March to March. These guys get the opportunity to watch themselves in this journey that they've been on um, for the entire year, man. It's crazy, it's crazy. These guys get a chance to watch themselves for the rest of their lives in their senior year or whatever particular year that they were in. And I think that's amazing. Uh, you don't realize the significance of something until you know it's 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 finished and this season is over and I'm finally starting to realize the significance of you know the culture being back here this team has reestablished a culture um, the culture of brotherhood in one year you know it's been about five or six years since um, a team has reestablished the culture here and I think these guys have done that, man. The buzz around them, the anticipation, the excitement around this team was so, so fun to be around. So, so fun to coach. And I think these six seniors, I've watched you guys progress in one year. These underclassmen, I watched you guys progress in one year. And I'm just so proud of y'all, man. Montero, Trey, Tyler, Kern, Don Traven, Everett. You guys have helped reestablish something, man, and that is bigger than any basketball game. It's bigger than any basketball game. I just don't realize how much you guys have put everyone on notice on the north side of the city that, hey, man, we're back. You know, and, and this is going to be really, really fun going forward. You guys are the trailblazers for mastering the game. And you guys need to know that. You guys are the trailblazers for this docu-series. You get to go back and be like, man, we were the first season of this. And I think that's just amazing, man. I'm, I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for you guys being so attentive, so willing to learn. You know, me coming in in March, you guys were just so attentive, bro. So y'all didn't know me from a can of paint and y'all just were so attentive of tr just wanting to get better. And you guys got better. Um, it's, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, man. You guys coming back, man. It's going to be even better next year for you guys, man. You're going to have better production, better better cameras, better everything. You know, and it's going to be really, really fun going forward. 
with this master in the game. Season two will be on the way, man. But I'm proud of y'all, man. I love y'all. You know, it's, it's brotherhood around here. And I think you guys have put everyone on notice that brotherhood is back. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Matt. Oh, this episode. <laughs> I'm so used to saying episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this season of Mastering the Game. Season two is on the way in a few months, man. Never be defeated, gang. We out. To be a part of something bigger than just yourself is honestly one of the most fulfilling things one can experience. To understand moments and realize how precious each one is can be fulfilling as well. Culture. That's what this team brought back to our side. I've watched them literally develop right in front of my very eyes. To watch them be who they are now is just a testament for their love of the game. I watched them come together as one as they battle adversity each and every day. I've watched them become a true brotherhood. To me, that's bigger than any game we've won this season. A true brotherhood is built through growing together with one another. Time builds that strength. As that strength builds, so does the belief that you and your brother can accomplish anything. Win or lose, we can never be defeated. So as this season of mastering the game ends, I hope you fully understand that this brotherhood lasts forever. You will always be welcome, right where it all started. Come on, hold up, hold up, let's go. Never be defeated again, we out.